CapCut is currently the most popular mobile video editing software for Android and iPhone. In this video, I'll show you the basic feature of CapCut and how to use them. First of all, let's see the latest update on CapCut. I live in Canada and recently we got this cloud feature in CapCut. When you click on it, you can see that CapCut now allows you to upload your project to its cloud services. And then you can edit the project from any of your devices. Sometimes I use an iPad for my editing and sometimes on a PC. So this is really useful for me. And here you can see that CapCut provides 512 MB of space to use for free. And from here you can upgrade to CapCut Pro. So you can see down here that it offers Pro feature to use in the app as well as some effects and 100 gigs of cloud storage which is really cool and you can get it for only 999 canadian dollars a month which is really cool now let's explore capcut's homepage when you open capcut you will see all of its features and options which i will explain one by one at the bottom you will see these four options the first one is the edit page where you can see all your projects when you click on template you can see all capcut templates which you can use directly from here. If there is something in trend and you don't know how to edit videos like that, you can search from there and find any templates easily. Then you can see the inbox, which is new feature of CapCut. I don't know how it works, but it seems like a message tab. And from here, you can see your CapCut profile and you can log in using TikTok account. Now let's go back to the edit page. On the top right, you can see the setting button from where you can choose the language and also turn off CapCut's default ending clip, which I'll show you some other day, and then some agreements and terms and conditions. Now let's close it, and then this question mark. From there, you can find some tutorials on how to use CapCut. From this search button, you can search for any effects and directly use them in your project. For example, if you want to use the 3D zoom effect, just search for it and apply it directly to either your existing project or any new project like this. Now back to the homepage, you can see these five features, which are also really useful. The first one is the camera, which has exactly the same layout as your TikTok camera with all the effects. The second one is retouch, which has tons of AI features through which you can adjust all your facial features. Then there is this caption, which I'll show you in detail in some other video. Now the fourth one is AutoCut, which will use some pre-made templates and apply them to any music to make a video for you. And finally, there is the prompter, which is really useful when you are using a script to record your videos. And here you can see all of your projects. Then you can see this new project from where you can start importing all new clips for the project. Now when you click on new project, you can select all of your clips to edit. Here you can see CapCut's editing interface. On the top left, you can see this cross button from where you can close your project. Then on the top right, you can change export settings, where you can choose the resolution from 480p to 180p to even 4K and also change frame rates from 24 fps to 30 fps to 60 fps and from here you can also convert your clips to smart hdr videos and also you can make gifs by clicking here now from here you can export your video now here you can see the total project duration and from here you can see at what timestamp you are now this is the play button to play and pause the video and from here you can undo or redo your work and then from here you can expand the view to full screen view. now this is your main timeline on the left side you can see this speaker icon from where you can mute or unmute the original video sound then from here you can select the cover of your video this is your main timeline on which you will do all of your editing this last plus button is to add any new clip to your timeline now at the bottom you can see all of these different features the first one is edit from here you can do almost everything when you click on it you will see that there are total 25 different features that you can use to edit your videos which i'll explain in my youtube video with tutorials now go back and here the second option is audio which has this four different options then the third option is the text where you will see the six options which i'll explain to you in my caption tutorial video now the fourth one is stickers capcut has tons of stickers 
that you can use in your videos. Now this overlay. This is useful when you want to put one video or photo above your main video like this. Then this effects which also has this three options which again I'll explain to you in detail with all its use cases. Then the filters which are like presets to make your video aesthetically pleasing. Now, now this ratio is basically your video format. From here you can choose 9 by 16 for TikTok or Instagram Reels and 16 by 9 for YouTube videos and many more. Then you can see this canvas which is basically the background of your video. Like when I choose a color and here you can see the video background changes when I change color from here. And lastly this adjust which is useful to edit your videos contrast, saturation and also basic color grades which is really useful to make your video aesthetic. Alright so this is the basic overview of the CapCut. Let me know in a comment which feature you want to learn next and to watch more videos like this please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one.